So we got probably another mile and a half to go to where we're going to camp. Or that zone. We don't really know where we're going to camp. Just wherever it looks good to start um, kind of dissecting this country. Picking it apart, looking for bears. Moving on. About a week, so we'll find something. Hopefully, uh, not too many more of these guys. We're at around 5,000 feet right now. We're at like 56. 56? Yeah. Definitely feel it. Yeah. In the lungs. Hold one more tick. That's three now. Three ticks? Three ticks. No ticks yet. Well, you're wearing that tick, deer tick camo. <laughs> camo. <laughs> Hard to see. They haven't seen me yet. They, maybe that might be it. That might be it. That's the problem with wearing solids. What, you see more of the ticks that are on you? <laughs> This is number 17 that I've had on me. Not what you want. We got up here and uh, got our tent all set up. It took us a while to get up this hill. Um, mostly me. Marshall is uh, like a mountain goat. I am not. I am not. But we made it. And uh, got to our glassing point here. We're probably 50 yards from our tent. And uh, we just spotted a, what appears to be a really nice bear on the other side of this uh, drainage. So. Definitely don't think he's huge. Mm -mm. I zoomed in a little further and you can see his ears look pretty big. Mm -hmm. I think it's a smaller boar. It doesn't have a very big back end on him. Oh, well, I guess I don't think he's a monster, but he's at least... 150 pounds, probably. Yeah. Yeah, he doesn't look huge at all. Yeah. He'd be in trouble if he was in range. <laughs> yeah. Well, it seems like he uh, slipped away from us when we were changing positions. He either went over over that ridge or laid down in that brush or something. But I don't think he was in a spot we could get on him tonight anyways. It would be a tough go no matter what. But yeah, about a mile away. It looks like a decent bear. But yeah, definitely good to, to see one. See what else we pick up this evening. And we'll keep looking for him. Good morning. It is morning of day two. Uh, it's about 5.30 in the morning, and uh, it's pretty light over here in Idaho. Um, we're just going to get down to our glassing point here below camp and uh, have some coffee, some breakfast, make a plan. So, Okay, on to the next place. Is that that really rocky area up at the head of the drainage? Yeah, kind of that transition between the the 
more timbered brushy stuff and then brushy rocky stuff right at the head of this basin i think that's it just looks so good and uh obviously we saw that bear last night right in that zone so hopefully there's water up there too yeah it seems like we're going to be hiking down for water one way or another but hopefully not too far this way moving camp up about three quarters of a mile just gets us a little more in the zone you know we'll just set it up a little bit back to where we're not blowing anything out but to where we can be a little more uh responsive to the action that'll be before us so. yeah just spotted a bear across this draw from us about 900 yards away we're gonna get a closer look at it We just finished setting up camp, our second camp. Oh, there's a tick on your leg. Um, just finished setting up camp and uh, getting ready to run out to our next glassing spot. And I just look across the back, there's this draw on the back side of camp and I see a bear uh, walking across the hillside up over there. Looks like a, like a good looking chocolate bear. So. We're right, gonna have to boogie after him if we want to have a chance at uh, getting a shot on him. Yeah, he's just kind of feeding there. Just kind of right. That little opening right here that's on our face is like 575, and he's 915. So we're gonna be able to get closer than that. So I think we'll be able to get to about 300 yards if we can find the little. Shooting alley. Yeah, right now he's at 922. On the top of the other side of this thing. Well, maybe we should get after it before he moves off, huh? Yep, he's he's in the open. This is gonna take us an hour to get across this thing. Yeah. I'd say at least. Hmm. Maybe he'll still be out. If not, we just hang out there for a while and wait for him. It's our wind. I think it's good. I think it's going. It's good. Yeah. It's coming back at us. So even if we are up there, we could just wait him out. Bears don't kill themselves. Let's do this, buddy. Yeah. Jay spotted this bear. And went, I think we can get in position pretty quick here. Across the canyon. We get on this spine and start working our way up to him. We should be able to close it to just 300 yards, maybe. So we'll see what happens. He's being pretty good and just hanging out. Yeah, that's, that's a good sized bear.
Sow with her two cubs is kind of working our way, so we probably ought to back off. Um, at least we found water down below camp. So, get over there, filter some water for a bit, and uh, um, try to find a boar or something that doesn't have cubs. That was fun. They're coming, they're coming right down into the draw right now. Yeah, we, we need to get moving, I think. <laughs> Kind of a cool gravity filtration system. Don't have to sit there pumping water. It didn't see for very long, but it was a pretty good size, looked like a pretty good size cinnamon. It's at least 1,300 yards away. Yeah, 1,307. That's a long 1,307. Right, yeah. There's no quick and easy way to get in the, in the zone. Yeah, he was running. He ran through that opening. Would you call it a run or a scamper? I don't know. The difference is important. We can kill bears here. We can kill bears here. Just gotta keep after it and uh, be aggressive at the right time. Be patient until then. So we had a good night's rest last night. Hiked up to our glassing point and pretty much right off the bat picked up that cinnamon bear that we saw last night. Uh, we watched it for quite a while uh, yesterday evening and he kind of rolled over that finger ridge into the timber. Um, but right now he's just out on that open face just feeding, eating the yellow flowers and whatnot. So we think we got a pretty good chance to get down in the zone, get to a spot where we could get a shot across the canyon, you know, 400 yards or so. Um, it's, I mean, it's obviously not a huge bear, but we'll see if we can get in the zone. What say you, buddy? Yeah. We're skipping coffee and breakfast even. Doing these blue razzle-dazzle, uh, drinks things. It's about time I drank this. It expired April of 2020. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Five eighty nine. So here's where we made a bit of a mistake. We watched this bear 
at 1,200 yards and made the decision to go and kill it. We committed to going down and killing this bear, even though we knew that it was at best a medium. We had four tags, and this seemed like a great opportunity to get our first one. So the lesson learned for us was this. Don't stop judging these things until the very end. Because we watched this bear again at 589 yards, and again after that at 300 before the shot. We should have been able to see if we spent a little extra time judging this bear, that this was no medium bear, that this was a small bear. It's a super fun hunt, great stalk, but yeah, small bear. Or is it right now, 589? Yeah. yeah. He's being so good, he's actually coming down. Yeah. Last time I ranged him from back there, he's 437 yards. I think he's gonna be maybe just over 300. We got all set up on this bear and he decided to take a nap right on the end of a of a down log. So we'll be waiting him out here. He's right at 304 yards. So he gets up and gets broadside. It's gonna be game on. Look like a hit. Oh, he's tumbling. He's behind the tree. All right, so bear down. I'll feel a lot better once we find it. <laughs> In the meantime, I'm up to 12 ticks, 12 ticks, and... Oh, you got nothing on me, buddy. 34. 34 ticks? 34 ticks. Killed, killed every last one of them, too. Yeah. The tick decapitation process. Yeah. Well, so that means it takes 46 ticks to uh, kill a bear. Idaho, dude. We finally got one. In. Dude, this is like what our fourth trip over here. Yes. To Idaho. Yes. First bear harvested. Oh, buddy. You see him? I he see him. Draped over that log. Oh. <sighs> This mountain hunting these bears, man. This is legit. This could get addictive. <laughs> or it could kill us. <laughs> All right, well, there he is. There she is. There she is. We thought it was like a medium. It turns out it's a definite small. But... 
that was a hunt. So it was a good, good stock, closing the distance, getting set up. Yeah, well, I mean, given the terrain, the difficulty getting way back in here for like four miles, couple thousand feet of elevation gain, we weren't really of the mind of passing up opportunities. So. Had I known that it was this small, I probably would have passed it up. <laughs> That's okay. It's well, a, it's a notch tag, and uh, we won't uh, we won't hardly notice the weight in the packs. <laughs> Back it up. Hey, we took a life. You know, we will eat this bear, and it'll be really tasty. And it, it was a good memory being here and getting a bear. It's just. They're just so tough to judge. I just thought it was a thought it was a medium, but oh well. All right, we got our third camp all set up now and uh, ready to get set up for an evening hunt. See what we got around here. It's just beautiful views here. Um, maybe we've got nearly panoramic, except there's a lot of this jack pine around us um, to get through, but some really nice faces here that we'll be able to watch. Um, yeah. So we spotted this bear. It's about 400 yards from where we were glassing. It started to rain and it popped out. We don't think it's real big. Its shape, I kind of think it's probably a sow, but hmm. we'll see if the itchy trigger finger takes over. How far is it? Um, two ninety. Two ninety. Ready? Yep. Right on, bud. Good job. <laughs> you know he's not a monster. Okay. It's like a bear on our hillside. I mean, we're at 7,000 feet. Um, it's probably not going to be bears much higher on this mountain than that one. This is why we're here, to kill a bear, right? Yeah, and this is some amazing country. And thank you, too, for killing another bear. 
because I didn't want to leave here with just a little <laughs> bear purse that I got. Hey. Your bear's plenty big. Don't let anybody tell you any different. That's true. Oh. Yeah, I fell on my butt coming down one time. Pretty sure we need the trekking poles yeah. for this. Kind of left them at our tarp. Okay, I'm unloaded. Thing looks fatter than I was expecting. It looks fatter than I was expecting too. Can't wait to get up there. You did it, bud. She looks like a butte. Park it. Park it. Get out of here. Get out of here. Well, there it is. You know, we thought <clears throat> we thought long and hard about shooting this bear. Got a little gun shy, but you know, sizing her up the way she's standing next to um, ponderosas and logs and stuff, could tell it wasn't. A tiny bear, not a small bear. <laughs> I mean, we're learning new things all the time about judging bears. We're no experts, but it's a beautiful bear. Absolutely thrilled to get to come to a beautiful place like this and harvest an animal like this. Um, we'll uh, make use of every bit of meat off of this animal. Nothing's gonna go to waste. And uh, have a heck of a pack out of here. Loaded with ticks. Yeah, everything up here is loaded with ticks. <laughs> what are you up to now, tick count wise? I don't know, like 53. 53? Something like that. I think I'm, I'm about to crest to 30. Got pretty soon. But... Beautiful bear, beautiful country, steep hillside. <laughs>